Hi, and welcome to the framework section in this comprehensive Ruby programming course. I feel like I'd be doing a disservice if I didn't give an introduction to some of the popular frameworks that are out there because as great as a Ruby programming language is, it's more likely not you're going to be using a framework in order to get applications live on the web. So these are not gonna be courses or sections that teach you how to build complex applications at all. It's more to give you an introduction to the system itself and uh, to framework. So I'm going to start off showing you the basic Sinatra framework. It's known as a very popular Ruby framework and it's really popular because it's a very lightweight, it's a very fast and it's very flexible because it's all built in Ruby and it gives you uh, the ability to not really have a lot of code specific to Sinatra. More than anything else, it simply lets you run your Ruby code on the web. And it can, it, you can get an application live literally within a matter of minutes, which is what we're going to do right now. So I created an empty directory right here called Hello Sinatra. And I'm going to just create a couple files here. So I'm going to say touch and say, let's see, we want to do touch and do app.rb and then config.ru and create both of these. And now we're going to have access to these right here. Okay, so in the config.ru, this is where we're going to set up our server configuration. So I'm going to say require.app or dot slash app. So this is going to speak directly to this app file. And then I'm gonna say run hi Sinatra. And you'll see what this is gonna be mapped to. This is just gonna be a plain old Ruby class. So here, I'm going to come to the app.rb file. And now just, uh, first thing I'm gonna do is require Sinatra. And just so you know what this means, and also so you can get it working on your system if you're following along, let's open up the terminal right here. And if you've not already installed Sinatra, the way to do it is to do gem install Sinatra, and that's all you need to do. So if you went through the section on Ruby gems, uh, Sinatra is simply a gem, just like Rails. So that's all you have to do to get it live on your system. So I'm going to say require Sinatra. And now, remember we created or we called this high Sinatra class. Now we just have to declare the class. So I'm going to say class high Sinatra. And this needs to inherit from Sinatra base class. I'm going to fix my indentation here. Okay, so I'm going to start off with the really basic one. So I'm going to say get and just slash, which means this is going to be the root of the application. And here we want to say, hey, Sinatra. Okay, now if we come back into the terminal, I can say rack up. Okay, and it says it's listening on port 9292. So let me copy this here in the terminal. And I'm going to grab a browser window, paste this in. And you can see, there we go. It says, hey, Sinatra. Now, if I go to anything else, you can say Sinatra does not know this ditty, and it gives you some other options. So uh, it even gives you an idea. I love their error messages. Uh, if you wanted this to work, all you'd need to do is copy exactly what they gave you here and make the change, paste it in, and come back. And you can see it doesn't work because we need to restart the server. Hit rack up again, come back. Hit refresh and now this all works so that's pretty cool and you can see how quick it was to get a Sinatra application uh, live and I want to show you one other thing and show you how you can also work with parameters so say that we wanted to get uh, anything say we want to get your age right here if you put this right in front of it. This turns age into a symbol or a parameter and you give Sinatra the ability then to access it. So I'm going to say git slash 
uh, colon age. And now if I do this, I can do some string interpolation. Say, hi, I'm, and then we can pass in this parameter. So this hit, remember how we do string interpolation and say params and pass in the param of age. So years old. Okay. And now let's stop the server, start it back up again. And now if we come back to the application and say 32, it says, hi, I'm 32 years old. You notice how it took this parameter right here and slid it right in just like a variable or anything like that. And this is a fully working Sinatra application. Obviously, you have to do a lot more than this to get it really pumping, but Sinatra is very full featured uh, for some of the companies I've worked with. We have gigantic, very elegant Sinatra applications that are very lightweight, but have a lot of power behind them. And they're, one of the things I really like about Sinatra apps is they're really easy to read. You're able to create custom Ruby files, import them easily, and uh, there's not a lot of things that are happening under the hood uh, where Rails is a little bit different. Rails gives you a lot of different conventions and um, it takes a little while to get used to it, where Sinatra is really lightweight. So it's a great first one to get started on. So uh, you now know how to create a Sinatra application. Also put some documentation and some links for some other tutorials that uh, could be helpful if you want to start building powerful ones. And uh, in the next section, we're going to go over how to build a Rails application.